Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today on Master Monday, which is where we talk about some music that I'm already familiar with, because I can't react to everything. I, you know, I have listened to a fair amount of 21st century music, so I take one day a week talk about something I know. This is St. Vincent you're looking at here. You probably already saw that on the thumbnail. And it's just a quick 45 second video talking about probably my favorite St. Vincent song. Though, though I have to admit I've not uh, played every single track of every single album by her, but I love this song, Severed Cross Fingers. So let's go ahead and take a little uh, peek into what she says about this song. The song Severed Cross Fingers is also dear to my heart. Um, it's it's one thing if you are um, if you never had hope for something in the first place, then you kind of oh it didn't happen or it it didn't go the way I thought it was going to, and you can kind of shrug your shoulders and go, oh oh well. Um, but I thought the 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 vision of severed cross fingers were was very powerful. You're really, you're really hoping right into the end that it works out. But it doesn't. All right, so I thought you might enjoy that just to uh, get the video uh, going here. So let's cross that out. Well, well, well. What a, what a wonderful way to come back to the home state. Yeah, she's from Dallas, Texas, yeah. originally. We got friends here, we got family here, we got mama here. I couldn't be happier, couldn't be happier to be here. Uh, so in the spirit of, uh, of hometownness, I'm gonna play some songs that uh, I used to play in coffee shops and bad bars and on a couple of embarrassing occasions, pizza parlors. <laughs> Taking it back old school. So if this is an older song, she's not released it for a long time. When you're calling a Calling back to you I'll be side stage Mouthing lines for you Humiliated by age Terrified of you I got hope on my hope You ain't helping you Spitting our guts from the gears Alright, so sorry to interrupt the chorus there but the first thing I'm surprised about I just figured she'd have a band I'm, I'm really surprised she's doing this uh, solo with just her and the guitar so it's nice because it is a very emotional song so let's keep going draining a spleen over years find myself at cross fingers in the rubble baby nice guitar tone Got some delay on it. Wake up, part of that. Sleeping in a suit. The truth is ugly. Well, I feel ugly too. Mm -hmm. We'll be heroes on every bar stool. And seeing double beats, not seeing one of you. Spitting our guts from the gears Draining our spleen over the years Find myself at cross fingers in the road, babe Well, you stole the heart right out of my chest Changed the words that I know best Find myself at cross fingers in the road, baby Gives the song such a different feel. Mm. 
cuts from the gears Draining a spleen over years Find myself at cross fingers in the rubble bay Where you stole the heart right out my chest Change the words that I know best Find myself at cross fingers in the rubble baby In the rubble baby Yeah mm. So different without the keyboards. I mean, even though she's a guitar player, I think so much of her music is keyboard work. A lot of um, always interesting keyboard lines, sometimes with a lot of humor in it. So wow! So this is this is really um, this really takes the lyrics and drives it home. When you do a, you can't call it an unplugged version because it's electric, but just her and the guitar. It just takes those lyrics and just shoo you know, just brings them right to focus. So, uh, yeah, a song about her early days trying to make it in the business. And yeah, so she sings a lot of songs about mood and depression. And I was just uh, listening to the song Surgeon before this, um, uh, talking about spending the summer on her back. So, uh, yeah, she's got interesting lyrics, but I love her voice, whether she's talking or singing. It's just uh, terrific, and so one of the great artists of the 21st century, I feel like. And so this is a Master Monday, but combined with a reaction. I've never seen this before. I thought it was terrific. Um, she sang with a lot more emotion, a lot more fragility, a lot more vulnerability. Uh, hey, I said that word without tripping on it. So good, good stuff. I mean, I can't comment on the bass drums and, and uh, keyboards because there was none. Uh, so good stuff. Hoping this doesn't get blocked. And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, wonderful stuff. We won't do a dive into the lyrics. I'm hoping that you were able to understand most of them. Let me know what you think of this song, what your favorite St. Vincent songs are. I just have always been really fond of this one. And this is from her self-titled album, 2014, I believe. So it's already eight years old. Wow. And this is like, That was like her, I don't know, fourth album or something. So, hmm, she's been fairly prolific. Um, all right, so as we say here in Mexico, buen dia.